The Acrobus. An archipelago full of secrets, anomalies, and destructive storms. You won't find it on the Imperial maps. Many followed ancient legends in search of these mysterious islands. But their expeditions, one after another, disappeared without a trace. But then came technological progress, and with it steam engines. With their help, Imperial pilgrims finally managed to reach the Acrobus. On the very first night, the Victorian camp was attacked by the Acribians, the island's indigenous people. This was the beginning of a long and bloody war, the result of which was the enslavement of the rebels. The Acrobus became the Empire's colony. Scientists began exploring the conquered lands. They discovered that the sap of the local trees called Celebrium is a unique source of energy. Its heating value is hundreds of times greater than that of the coal and wood. Celebrium shipments to Victoria grew exponentially. Its power had no limits. Soon, scientists encountered yet another mystery. They found traces of an advanced civilization. They discovered scrolls described how to fuse mechanisms with living flesh with the help of Celebrium. Supposedly, this increased the resilience of the human body and made animals stronger and more docile. Immediately after that, the Emperor authorized the beginning of surgical experiments on the colonial slaves. The scrolls also mentioned the bloody cult of the Enlightened, which the people of the Acrobus had been practicing many centuries ago. The cult quickly spread among the general public. Its followers restored the temple where the Enlightened used to worship the Supreme Gods. The cult's priest promised freedom to the oppressed people and supported an armed uprising of the slaves. In order to crush the unrest, the Empire sent a large fleet under the command of General Harassim. In response, the highest enlightened summoned the Ancients' power for help. He sacrificed thousands of lives, spilling rivers of blood, which opened the rift between the worlds. Dormant volcanoes awakened. Many islands went underwater. The Acrobus were lost in darkness and chaos. The Imperial troops suffered huge losses, but General Harassim managed to break through to the Cursed Temple. He annihilated the Highest Enlightened and sealed the rift between the worlds. The war was over, but the Acrebian colony sustained great damage. Celebrium shipments were stopped. Deprived of the much-needed energy source, the Empire was gripped by a terrible crisis. New expeditions were sent to the islands, but the Acribians destroyed whoever approached their lands. Thousands of people were killed, never getting the chance to more. The Acrobus became impregnable. The Empire was crumbling, along with the hope to return to its former glory. But there is always someone who can change history. This time, things will be different. Hey there everybody, Chuck Molusky back once again. We're here with another game. Today's game is Steam Hammer. This is a new game that has been on Steam. It is currently not released. It has a release date of 2017. It's a early access action RPG, massively multiplayer type of game. It is by the developer SF Teams and the publisher Big Way. And it's kind of like a survival steampunkish version of a th of a thing. I'm not totally sure yet. Like all we've seen is that intro that we just watched. I think we're going to go ahead and join a world. We're going to go ahead and look at this. I think we're just going to join one of these random servers. I think we'll go for game server 1. And uh, we're not going to touch anything. We're just going to look and we're going to direct connect. Connect? Direct connect? Connect. So it looks like we're going into loading. I think we get to build our character. It looks like we do. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's name this guy. First name. Family name. Name. Chuck Molesky. Family name. Oh, I don't even know. What faction do we want? Technocrates or the Ac Acrabians? <laughs> oh, I like that outfit better. 
It's like jail or crazy man. Oh, let's go crazy man. Gender. I think we're going to go with a gentleman. What does the lady look like? Oh, <laughs> they're not available yet. Women are not currently available. Appearance settings. Does this change anything? I really don't care what he looks like right away. Hairstyle. I actually like this guy. He's pretty freaking weird. I think we're just going to go ahead and say done. Ecarabians will be available later. Oh, okay, so. It's early access. We can't, we can't hate. We're going to go with him. Say done. Cannot contain any special characters. Can we do caps? Is that what it means? Does it mean no caps? Family name cannot be shorter than one character. So Chuck Molusky, family name, Pooh Clan. Yeah, that's fine. Done. Chuck Molusky, Pooh Clan. <laughs> Fantastic. So we have our base stats. So we have strength, agility, constitution, intellect, willpower, luck. I guess let's just jump in. I mean, I'm kind of going to going into this blind. I haven't seen any gameplay. This is the first time I'll be going in. So we'll see if there's actually chat in game or what the controls are, what exactly we need to be doing. I assume that it's like a hunting and gathering type survival situation at the beginning. We, that is still yet to be seen. But apparently there is uh, women and motorcycles. So that that's a plus. Eating high quality food will result in skill progression. Having a cook, all right, all right. Patching the world. Look at them gears going to town. Going to town. Keep an eye on the furnace to restock it with fuel. Don't let it burn out. All right, yeah, so we probably have to like create some kind of furnace as like a engine power source, I would almost assume. Can we slide on in here? Terraform changes. I gotta feel that we're in for a long load. Holy crap, we loaded in. We are in the world. How is our FPSs looking? Our mouse is a little bit fast. Let's go ahead and go into controls. See if we can actually figure that out. Mouth sensitivity, let's crank this down a little. Let's apply that. There, that's a little bit better off to start. So, is it like the game? Can we punch the tree? Oh no. Snap off branch. So bam, we got a branch. Let's get another one, I guess. How many branches we need, man? I'm going for three right away. So it looks like we have these power power ups. What is this? Is this thing? You are not thing. Actually, it's like the mouse is almost too slow now. <laughs> Control. Mouse sensitivity. Bleep, bloop, bleep. Apply. All right, so let's see. We got an orange tree over here. I am assuming that this is food. It's like, I wonder if we can level up like the rate that we actually harvest stuff, because that would be fantastic. Are we just getting branches from this? One branch, yeah. I was like, dude, I want oranges, bro. So I need to get my stuff together here. That's for dang sure. We're going to have all the branches in the world to get started with. Tell you what. Are you a thing? <gasps> Is this marijuana? Holy crap. Can we pick this? <laughs> it is. This is ridiculous. This is this supposed to be hemp? Wow. Well, we haven't figured out too much, but I see this guy over here. I'm not sure what's up with this. 
He's making like pig sounds from what I can tell. Uh, can, should we try to fight him? I don't see any animals and he's making like pig sounds from time to time. Maybe he's just like an NPC. Can we actually craft up some crap? Uh, we did equip our clothes and let us do that. See, we're here in... Oh, what? What, are you kidding me? I ain't gonna take that crap. What? Can we search him? <laughs> you cannot use this. Another piece of your equipment prevents it. Alright, so, if we go to the tab, we can get rid of that. We can get out of our fighting stance. Can we actually... <laughs> Let's prospect for copper on top of him. Deconstruct, so... Removing the objects will destroy it, and this can't be undone. Destroying an object will delete all items inside. Cancel. Alright, so how do we actually open? Oh, we can open it. Can we get you out of there? Get you out of there. Search corpse. Nice! Are we gonna get something? We need stuff. We really do. Ooh, bag of loot! Open. So... We got this, whatever the heck this is. Some sap, we got a little bit of food, and it looks like we got some nails. Well, we swam across this river. We were originally over there, and we're finding like these holes in the ground. We also found this little basket, so we're gonna go ahead and try to open this thing, see if there's anything here. Holy crap. We're taking this. There's a pick, there's a shovel. This is probably somebody's stuff. But, like, why is it just sitting here in a basket? We need to learn how to do things, so we need this. We need this. We need the stuffs. We're gonna take it all. Warning, you're overburdened. Okay. Let's not take all of the stuff, then. Let's put some of these branches down. So many branches, so little time. So it's like, are these different kinds of trees? But we got, we got all sorts of crap! What the heck? All right, well, we're getting some music. I don't know if we're close to something. It looks like we have an actual, like, structure down here. I got my machete out. We're gonna go down here, try to handle some business. Are we actually raiding something, or what are we doing? Can we, like, harvest this tree with this, with this machete? Oh, good lord, what are these things? Hello? Do I need to put you away? Small smelter? Small smelter, small power hammer, carpenter's bench. Oh, good lord. Textile and tanning machine. Big basket. Open it. So are these people who have logged off? Is this a thing? What is this? You see Hubble with durability. Okay, so that's like a house. Is there like a door? There is a window. There is a door. Open. Yeah, I can open it, but there's nothing in here. There's nothing in the basket, but there is these things that have been built. Inspect. What are you? You are a textile and tanning machine. That is fantastic. Nothing in the basket. What about, is there anything in here? Come on, smelter. What's your, what's your smelt? So, can we actually manage smelting? Copper ingots. So it's like, can we put like stuff in here? Do we need fuel? What is the deal? We really need to learn. We really need to learn. So it's like he did cut down a tree. And if we have this... Can we actually... Whoa! What? Somebody invisible? What just happened? Did I hurt myself? So if we go up to this tree, 
Can we cut down tree? Oh, we can! Because we have our machete. But it's like, are these machetes actually craftable? Or am I stealing? Or <laughs> do you have to find a basket? I'm not sure what the deal is yet. Let's see what we get from this tree. You can actually inspect it. And it'll show you what you'll get, but we just went ahead and chopped her down. Hardwood log. You see a hardwood log. Fantastic. What am I going to do? Just stare at it? What are we staring at logs here? This is what we do? Heva. Pine. Hardwood log. Object. Pick up. So we can pick it up, can we? We can. All right, so we're back. We've been hunting and pecking around a little bit, and if you actually just press the right mouse key, you can actually like gl gather plant fiber. So I've been doing that for like a little while. I'm not sure if this is the only way to do it, or if you could actually set it. Looks like you can track animals. Can we, ooh, track peaceful animal? Is this a thing? I haven't done this yet. It's gonna show me where to go. I don't think that we found anything. Let's go ahead and gra gather a little bit more plant fiber here. Um, maybe grab a couple more branches. Can we just grab branches off the ground? Is that a thing? Gather wild plants, search for something edible. Oh. See, the thing is, is like, does it point it out where to go? One edible taproot. So we can pop into our menu here and this is what it is. How do we eat though? Common, drop, eat. Oh, does he do an animation? He totally does. Nice. So that's how you eat the foods. I think we can actually craft stuff. So if you actually look over here, we got torch. Can we craft one of those? No, we're short on the plant fibers. Can we do something basic like the campfire kit? Yeah, craft. Oh my God, we crafted something. So I gotta assume that we can place that puppy down. Campfire kit. So we're gonna need a bunch more plant fiber and stuff to get more things. Like a torch would probably be pretty useful. Can we head back over here and actually place this thing down or not? Like bam, I want you here. Construction. Raise ground, lower ground, build. Carpenter's bench. So we, oh, we'd be able to build all of these things. Does it say what's actually required? Construction level 30. Oh, big basket, basket. So, okay, okay, we're learning. All right, well, I think we got what we need. So if we look into here, we click on this scrap hammer and it looks like we can craft it now. So it looks like it's actually easy to actually produce most of these things. So let's go ahead and back out. We do have our hammer. Do we have enough to actually build the basket? 10 and 15. Build. Oh yeah, so do we need to actually equip our hammer? Equip. And we probably don't have the right amount of vines or branches, do we? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and look into there. Build. We'll buy them basket time. Chuck, you need 10 and 15. Build it. You can't. Oh, or can we? I don't know, we're building something, I'll tell you what. Build that. You smack that hammer. Boom, bam. Okay, so, <laughs> what? This is a basket? Uh, deconstruct, build. What are you? You're telling me this is a basket? Well, we built a thing. I feel like we stumbled upon like somebody's, like they built this, they built all the machines, they started to figure out the game and we kind of <laughs> stumbled upon it. And by doing so, we actually taught ourselves a little bit how to harvest some things, how to build a hammer. And we got like a little workshop. I actually set this as my home because you can uh, look on the, click on the door, open and close and set as your home. I did do that. Whoa, bam, do it double time just to make sure. So, we have a basic understanding of how the game works. We need to do a lot of hunting and gathering. Hunting and gathering and see what we can actually create. So, I think I'm going to have to call it for here. We at least got our a little bit of knowledge. 
If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and throw that like down. If you are not subscribed, you can do that for more videos in the future. And I'll be over here swinging my hammer at God knows what, doing God knows what. If you are looking for any links to anything for this game, it'll be in the description. Have a good day. Chuck Molesky out. We will see you next time with more Steam Hammer. Peace.